Hello, this is Jeff Butts from the Mac Observer, and I'm here to show you a couple of things related to iTunes 12.7. The most important thing I'm going to show you is how you can get your custom ringtones or ringtones that you've downloaded from a third-party app onto your iPhone so that you can actually use them. Now that Apple has been so kind as to take away the ability to manage ringtones and apps from iTunes, we need to find new ways to do that. So, let's get started. I've downloaded a few ringtones using an app called Zedge. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to get to those apps that uh, you're sharing files from. This is your basic iTunes layout. This icon here that looks like a phone in my, uh, in my top bar, I click on that and it brings up my iPhone. I click on File Sharing, and these are all of the apps that can possibly share files. So, I click on Ringtones, and here's the one that I don't have on my phone, Crazy Chicken. So I'll drag that into a folder on my desktop, and that way it'll be ready for me. Now, the key to putting files, putting ringtones onto your iPhone. And this works with apps as well. If you have .ipa app files on your computer somewhere and you need a way to get them onto your device, you can follow this method as well. I click on the file in question and then I just drag it onto this part that says on my device. I let go, it synchronizes, and now it's in the tones. You can see Crazy Chicken. And just so you can see that I'm able to use that ringtone now, here's my iPhone screen. I go into settings, ringtones, and Crazy Chicken is there. So that's how you put ringtones, custom or third-party ringtones, on your iPhone. As we dig deeper into iTunes 12.7, we'll definitely have more for you. One of the things that we're missing in this puzzle right now is how to delete ringtones. Apple has told us how to put new ones on through a support page article, but they have not yet told us how to delete them. And I'll be looking for ways to do that. I've started digging around and I've managed to break a couple of ringtones using iMazing. Uh, hopefully I'll crack the puzzle soon and come back to you with a tip on how you can delete ringtones. But until then, at least you know how to put them on your phone. So hope you enjoyed this quick tip and have a great day.